Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser who is not good at algorithms. I'm making this video to pre prepare my uh, interview next month from Facebook. So actually there's only uh, one month left. Uh, in this video, I'm going to look at 1438, longest continuous subarray with the absolute diff less than or equal to limit. Wow, the title is very long. We're given an array of integer nums and an integer limit. Return the size of the longest continuous subarray such that the absolute difference between any two elements is less than or equal to limit. Well, it's hard to understand. Let's take a look at the example. The nums like 8, 2, 5, 7. Limit is 4, which means we need to get the continuous subarray which neither of them have the diff more than 4, right? So for 8, their diff is 0, so 4. For 8, 2, 6, it's bigger than it, so this cannot be possible. 8, 2, 4, not possible. So here we can already know that if one of these two are impossible, then these three, we could just skip the checks, right? And then 2, 2, 4, 2, 4, 7. And then 4, 7, 4, 7, 7. So the maximum would be 2, which means uh, of 4, 7, 4, 7, or 2, 4. Right? Cool. And uh, yeah, so that's the problem. For this kind of problem, I think dynamic programming would be a good uh, approach, which means we see that it says we need to suppose there is a continuous subarray, right? Continuous, the longest one is two, four, seven. And then what happens if we remove the last element? So what's the relationship between the last element and without the last element? Let's say. For two, two eight four eight two four, the longest one would be two four, right? It's two. Now we add seven. What happens if seven is not in the longest in the in the future longest continuous subarray? Then it is the same without it, right? So and the maximum is already checked by w w when when seven uh, ha when and uh, before seven is added. So this 7 doesn't affect anything. And uh, so the only case that 7 matters is that 7 is one of the continuous subarray. So, so what's that be? If 7 is one of the subarray, but it's the last element, and uh, it could start with from 4, it still start from 2, could start from eight, right? So we could traverse all back to the to the front and check the longest, check if it is longest or not. So because any any index we choose, like for we choose two, the diffs without seven, any without seven are already checked. If we can catch the result. And the other thing, other, the only like uh, extra, the only ex extra checks this 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 seven adds adds to the process is four seven, two seven, right? And we can just do that with one pass. But we if we have done two seven, we could avoid eight because for four, the longest would be two four, right? Yeah, so the 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 solution becomes obvious for, become obvious for us. Let's say if i means longest subarray which ends at i, right? Which ends at i. So how we handle if i plus one? Mm, well, it's simple. If if i is zero, it couldn't be zero, right? So it's minimum. It's one. 
it could have been zero. At least it's one. So we just uh, we just uh, find uh, how should I interpret it? It should be I should loop back from i to the f to the maximum length of uh, uh to the f i minus f i for for four we traverse through traverse through four two. And then check if the diff satisfy our needs, right? So it would be equal to uh, four index from Mm, I think it should be one plus maximum uh, net from I backward which like uh, I like K all right K which means for J K for I minus K plus one J I nums I uh, uh, J I plus one pair is valid, right? I know this is looks ugly, but I think I've expressed my uh, idea. So the idea is we just traverse through the i and go to i minus one, and to check if the pair of each item with seven with this i plus one matches our matches our uh, uh satisfy our needs and it break we should break break at failure or f or k equals f i right it's maximum so we we won't we there's no need to go back to eight Okay, so I'll create a longest sub array ends at create array for the to catch the result. Now let uh, num what we need to the index so zero. Well, for the zero, there's nothing to do that nothing to do. So we start with one. Nums dot length. So it started with one, okay. And then we because previous will at least be at least one, so we get we get prev and prev equals like this i minus one, right? Okay. Okay, now we say uh, let current length equals one. Um, equals one, and then if current one, if next one, okay, if next one. I think we should how, how should we, how should we do it? So we start from this, go to the next one, go to the previous one. Okay, so let for let mm, wow no okay let k equals i minus one while k 
uh, until this, right? So while k is satisfy our priv, uh, no, i uh, minus one minus priv. If previous only means one, then it means self, so it sh actually is plus one, right? So this is i minus one, k equals two, then minus one minus two plus one. So yeah, until until we match the previous uh, the the uh, the farthest one, we need to calculate the diff. So const diff equals we need to get the absolute value abs nums uh, i minus nums i minus one because okay this just use k right this is the first k and we calculated the diff if diff is bigger than limit, then we return. Uh, okay, we break, right? If not, we will update to the ninth. Mm, or we don't need to catch the current ninth, we just uh, get the k. So the k will break at the first, hmm? wait a minute. This is the first K, if it is not matched, it will break, and or the K will be here, right? Yeah, so we could set I equals I, minus k if k is here then the limit is uh this length would be one so yeah this is it and uh we need to get our longest one so for i forgot the max equals zero mm -hmm. no at least one so we need to update the max also Cool, finally, we return max. I hope it works. Uh, seems time, <laughs> my god. Oh, yeah, for this wide loop, I need to move it backwards. Uh, the output is three, but we we expecting two, but we get three. How could that be? For a two four seven. Okay, we first we get the one, and then for two. K is from eight, and uh, the previous one is one, so. Uh, k should be bigger than it, eight than zero, and the nums i is uh, two, eight, so it's six, six bigger than four, so we should break. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we break, so break at zero. So the count, the the length would be one zero. So it's uh one. Still one. It should be one. So four. Previous one is one. We check two. With four, that's two. 
it's, it's more than it. So k goes to zero, and uh, it fails. So it's two here. Now we get seven. Previous one is two. K will start at four. This one matches, and then we go to two. This one breaks. So k stop at two. And uh, the length would be two one uh, three two one. So it's two. Mm -hmm. Why we output? Why we output three? Ah, oh, God, boundary problem. One, one, two, two, three. Hmm? <gasps> oh, uh, this. Uh... Wow, this is a really sad. Okay, let's submit. Uh, cool, we are accepted, and uh, hmm? why seven, seven seconds? That is long. What's the time and space complexity? The worst case would be all of them are, all of them are available. It, Available. Right? The all of them available so that every this while while loop will go straight back to zero. So the worst case would be O to the square space. Obviously it's linear time. So could we improve it? Um let's say Um, is there any submissions? Not yet. Seven is very long. Previous one. If we know the longest length, any of four, and then seven. Rather right than we traverse them one by one, is there any cache we caching like caching we can do? But it's different for each number. Mm, okay, I'll give it up for now. And uh, yeah, that's all for this problem. Hope it helps a little bit. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.